Good morning, you guys. It is Monday, November the 6th, and I am up to my usual Monday shenanigans, which means Monday meal prep. So, I'm looking pretty rough because, you know, I throw my hair up in this mommy bun, and, uh, so this is it. This is usually what I look like. Probably a lot of times when I do my videos, but on Monday for sure because we don't go anywhere. I tend to work on cleaning the house up from the weekend, laundry, and meal prep. So, and I've been really tired. So I've been resting most of the day. We even did school in the bed this morning. So that's just some luxury we have with homeschool. We can do it like that. And so, yay for Lazy Mondays. But now the lazy part of the morning is over. And I've got to um, get some meal prep. I'm just doing easy meal prep this month, uh, this week. And I'm going to show you mostly it's protein and um, do some more housework because, yeah, you see this? This right here. That's still decoration from Nathan's birthday party, which was last Saturday. And this is Monday. Um, but that's okay. Everything else, you can see, is taken down just that. And he wanted to leave that for a while, so we left it. Because his birthday was actually a week after his party. Uh, Saturday was his party and then Thursday was his birthday. I'm not going to explain the way it is what it is. It's still up. It's going to come down later today. I need to clean my counter, my table off a little bit, put some of that laundry away. And now I'm going to focus on meal prep and show you what I'm going to be working on today. Just some basic ideas that would help you maybe prep some protein. So let's get started. Yes, and this is my counters again. He did complete his Lego set. I'll show you that because it's so cute, I think. Ninjago, I showed that to you in an earlier video on Saturday. If you hadn't seen that, go back and check it out. It's just a rare Saturday. Kind of like a rambling video behind the scenes, but he was working on this and he's finished it. Uh, I think it's maybe a typical man. He has extra parts. I shouldn't say typical man as far as general, but typical men in my family, extra parts. But hey, you never know. Fidget spinner and a huge Nerf gun. Yes, if you're wondering, we do make him put his toys away at the end of the day, but this is just something he's drug out again today. So, he'll put that away before bed. So, on to the food prep. Today, like I said, I'm just working on basic proteins. I'm going to do two pounds of bacon, which I've already got started, and some's done, and some's in the oven. Um, they've already been eating on this, including myself, because... We've just been kind of had a um, lunch. We just ate whatever we could find. And so this was done around lunchtime or mid-morning, actually. And I ate some of that, and my husband did too. So then I'm just going to boil eggs, which I've already got started. They're boiling out a dozen of those. We're going to put those in the fridge. We can have those as snacks, as quick breakfast, or uh, for dinner I can pull them out, pull a few out, uh, like three out, and devil those. And then we can have two deviled eggs each with our dinner. So... I'm also cooking, um, I'm going to prepare or prep two pans of sausage and cabbage bake, which is really simple. I just do a head of cabbage, uh, one uh, pound of the kielbasa sausage, and today I'm using basil pesto chicken sausage I found on sale at the discount store for $1.49, uh, and some onion, and then seasonings like garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. And then I'm also going to roast this turkey breast roast that I found at my last shopping trip, I found it for $1.99. It's almost two and a half pounds of meat, so I grabbed a couple of those. I've got that thawing. I'm just going to roast it, and we're going to slice it thin for E sandwiches on our approved uh, Termelty Mama Bread, or me on lettuce wraps for S, or FP Snacks. So, that is my simple list of food prep today. Nothing elaborate, just simple. And it won't take all day, but I'll be glad that little bit is done through the week. So, I'll show you what I'm going to work on. Or actually, what I've got going over on the stove now. Now, for a quick peek at what i got going. This is the bacon. And it's not as dark as it looks on this camera. It's rainy and nasty here this morning, so it's kind of bad lighting. So, I apologize in advance. Just pull this out. That's what we were eating on earlier. I have another pound or so to go. I'm going to pull this off, put it on there. Get that bacon on there to cook. Now, we will eat on this bacon all week long. We're not going to eat it at one meal. It'll be several meals. It uh, could last four or five days. It could last two or three days, depending on if my husband and son and I eat it for snacks as well as, you know, breakfast and stuff like that. So, we'll see. This is the next portion. And again, the lighting stinks today. I'm going to make um, this cabbage and sausage bake that I was talking about. This is nothing fancy, you guys. I'm sure some of you... I already make that at home. Each one of these aluminum pans, and yes, I do use these throwaway aluminum pans for my 
food prep and freezer prep prep but if you don't feel free to use glass or plastic or whatever you feel more comfortable with um so i'm going to do one onion cut up one head of cabbage and one pound of sausage um per pan and then i will season it with things like garlic powder onion powder salt pepper celery seeds and maybe some caraway or something like that and then i will roast that in the oven cover with foil until it's, the cabbage is nice and tender and then that will make a one pot meal for us um we'll probably have one for dinner tonight and the other pan i'm going to use for lunches throughout the week probably when i go back to work i'll have some uh, for lunch and the boys will have some here because i do go to work the day after tomorrow so i think did i show you the turkey roast there's the bacon the eggs i don't remember did i tell you the eggs anyway i just take these off the oven <laughs> can't even talk you guys i just took these off the stove i'm going to peel them while they're still hot i find that the shells come off easier that way if you have an instant pot i've heard those are amazing for peeling eggs and i hope i'm not repeating myself if i am i'm not starting over for please forgive me you guys but i don't have an instant pot so this is how i'm doing i'm going to peel those and then this is the turkey breast uh roast that i was telling you about i'm going to cook up for ease meals you can see i got that for Focus. You can do it. Focus. And it's not going to. Anyway, not going to waste time. Dollar ninety nine. I'm going to roast that with seasonings. Just a teaspoon of olive oil, and roast it, and then I'll slice it for sandwiches or to eat with their FP snacks or e snacks and stuff like that. So that is what I got cooking up right now. And this is the gist of it, guys. Nothing complicated. Oh. And the bacon, if you don't have time to cook up all the bacon for the week and you don't want to cook it all, I know I have a lot of followers that are drive through Sue's or people like me that work and homeschool or you just work and you're busy or you don't like cooking. There are alternatives to this bacon and I'm not going to go into details, but I will show you one. There are pre-cooked sausage and bacon um, choices like this one in the um and it's just not focusing anyway like this in your freezer or cooler section at walmart you can always pick that up uh that is a product that is going to sponsor some instagram posts for me later in the month i'm going to be working with jimmy dean so i'll show you more about that but there are great things like that i did purchase those they did not give me those free that is something i purchased so that's a great option if you don't have time to do this bacon ahead of time grab you some of those sausages and then that would be an easy protein for breakfast okay one more quick peek and then i'll come back a little later when i got it all done because i still have to chop all this up and i'll show you that okay i'm working on the first pan of the baked cabbage so i got one head of cabbage cut up in there and some of the onions we're going to talk about those onions in a minute but this may look like a lot but this cabbage cooks down tremendously so if you guys have a big family that you're cooking this cabbage bake for um, you may want to do two two heads of cabbage per pan and need a bigger pan, obviously. But because it will cook down and wilt and, you know, a lot. So it'll like probably at least half a cabbage is water. So this may look like a lot for us. But honestly, sometimes we could eat, uh, if we just have this with the cabbage and sausage for our dinner and nothing else, we can eat the whole pan. So um, because it wilts down so much. But anyway, if you have a bigger family, double that. Okay, so I have the sausage, both of those two pounds cut up. I'm going to divide that between this pan and the second pan that I hadn't done yet. But I wanted to talk about these little guys right here. These onions. You guys, I love onions. I love the flavor they give to dishes, but I hate what they do to my eyes. I am cutting up these onions right now, and honestly, my eyes are watering so bad right now. I can barely see to record, but I have a question. I have heard that if you keep these onions your onions in the fridge they will not make your eyes water or burn okay well, i'm gonna pause for a second because i do not believe that if so my onions must be mean attack onions and they don't follow onion rules because i always keep my onions in the fridge from the day i buy them two i cut them up and like today i grabbed these straight out of the fridge before i cut them out i laid them on the can counter recorded it, you guys you know showing you the ingredients and then i'm cutting them up my eyes are killing me what am i doing got wrong you guys do your onions make you cry do you keep them in the fridge do you not keep them in the fridge what are your tips and tricks about not having onion eyes <sighs> i'd like to know i'm gonna get started on this other pan and hopefully i will not cry myself 
into a terrible red-eyed monster. All right, guys, so my prepping day is coming to an end. I just, you can tell I changed clothes. I just wanted to clean myself up a bit because I just finished recording uh, my video for an open uh, ABC of Thankfulness collab, which you'll see that on my channel on Wednesday. So be sure and come back and check on that. And there'll be a long list of other videos in that collaboration from other vloggers that you can watch also. I'm going to show you what I got. I got the turkey breast in the oven still roasting, so you won't be able to see that. I'll show you a picture at the end of this video of what it turned out like. But I'm about to show you the um, cabbage bake that's not ready, and then the one we're going to have for dinner tonight, and then the eggs and bacon. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let's take a look at that food. I just hope that you guys can see that it does not take a lot to prep ahead. It doesn't have to be fancy. Every little bit helps, and I hope that you enjoy these videos. Now, let's see the food. So I don't keep rambling. All right, so there's a dozen egg I prepped uh, this morning. I just hard boiled those. Those are going to the fridge. We'll use those for snacks, uh, quick breakfast. Uh, maybe one day this week I'm gonna like take three of them, split them in half, and devil those. So we each have uh, two deviled eggs a piece for dinner. Here is one of the cabbage bakes after it has cooked. We're having this for dinner tonight. It's a one pot meal for us. It's got sausage and cabbage. So there's our protein. And our veggie, here's one that has not cooked yet. I am going to go ahead and cook this tonight, then I will wrap it up and either freeze it or put it in the fridge to eat on, probably for lunches throughout the week. We'll see how that goes. There's my two and a half pounds of bacon that I cooked for the week, and this is not a prep. I wanted to tell you guys about this right here. This bottle last night caused me, actually not last night, it was Saturday, so much grief with this, I don't know if you can see it, but this it's a glass cooked up stove, and I usually keep my apple cider vinegar in this cabinet. I was reaching up to get sweetener, knocked it out, tried to catch it, knocked it over, and it fell. And you guys probably cannot see, but right in here, it hit like this, and it shattered. So, it still works, but we're going to have to try and find a replacement for this. And in the meantime, I'm having to be very super careful with it. And then here is our turkey breast. It's in there roasting. I'll show you a picture of that, what it looks like when it comes out. I hope you guys have a great night. Let me know in the comments what you've prepped this week. And if there's anything that you would like to see on the um, YouTube channel, give me a shout out. Let me know. Thanks for, look, uh, thanks for stopping by. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And check out my videos to come. Have a great night.